Hey, what's going on guys? It's BrainBean here again, and today we're gonna to be taking a look at $200 keyboards from two of the biggest players in the gaming space, Razer and Corsair. So we're gonna be putting the Razer Ornata V2 against the Corsair K60 RGB Pro Special Edition. Now I do have full length reviews that go really in depth on both of these keyboards. I'll link those down in the description for you if you find one that you wanna kind of learn a little bit more about. But with that, let's check out these keyboards. And look, I get it, there are a lot of options in the $100 space, and especially those of you that lean more towards the enthusiast side, there's gonna be way better options for you out there. But the fact remains, there are a ton of people that value just full-size gaming keyboards, and that's all they care about. So this video is gonna be more for those of you that fall into that category. But if nothing else, I hope you find this video entertaining. So let's check out these boards. Starting as always with construction and design, these are both full-size 104 key keyboards. The Ornata V2 is made entirely of plastic and has a matte texture to it that won't pick up fingerprints. The K60 RGB Pro Special Edition has a black anodized brushed aluminum top plate that gives it a more premium look than the Ornata, but it does pick up dust and debris way easier. Despite the difference in construction, both keyboards weigh fairly the same, with the Ornata being 1.8 pounds and the K60 coming in at just 2 pounds, so it's like a 50 gram difference. In terms of overall construction, I would give the K60 the advantage as the Ornata has a little bit of flex and warping when trying to bend it, while the K60 is rock solid. The Ornata V2 has a set of dedicated media keys over the number pad. There's one for back, play and pause, a skip button, and there's a clickable plastic volume scroll wheel. The K60 doesn't have any dedicated media keys, but it does have media control baked into the keyboard with the function key. Both keyboards come with detachable padded magnetic wrist rests. The Ornatas is a little bit wider and it sits a little bit higher, which I think will make it accommodate more hand sizes. It has an embossed Razer logo in the center and it has a smooth texture to the leatherette. The K60's wrist rest overall is a little bit smaller, but it has a more premium feeling textured leatherette. Although like the top plate on the keyboard, it will get dirty pretty easily. Both wrist rests have about the same amount of padding to them, but I think the K60's wrist rest overall just feels a little bit more premium, and it does have a much stronger magnetic connection to the keyboard. Even aesthetically, these two keyboards are different. The Ornata has a more low profile design with its half height keys recessed into the chassis, while the K60 has that classic Corsair exposed switch design with a clean minimalistic look. And both of these boards use budget oriented switch options to help bring the cost down, which is why they're each respective company's more mid range keyboards. To save time, I'm not going to go super in-depth on both of these switches, but I will leave links to the reviews of these keyboards down below where I have full deep dives on each option. The Ornata uses Razer's Mecha Membrane Hybrid keys, while the K60 uses the new Cherry Viola switch. The main differences are that the Mecha Membranes have an audible click and a tactile feel thanks to a clicky spring that kind of adds that feeling, while the actual actuation is happening at bottom out with the membrane squish, but they are timed to be at the same time, essentially creating the illusion of a clicky mechanical switch. They have a snappy and light feel with a force of about 45 to 50 grams. The Cherry Viola switch is a true mechanical switch, but it's Cherry's new stripped down budget friendly switch option. The Viola is only offered in linear switches currently, although tactile and clicky are on the way, but it's unclear if Corsair is gonna adopt these onto the K60 when they release. Neither option is perfect, in fact I would say that these are the main compromises that both of these keyboards make, but I would give the edge to the Viola simply because it has a more true mechanical feeling, and the actuation and reset points behave like true mechanical switches while the Mecha membranes behave like a membrane and they require bottoming out to activate. The Viola also has a force curve of 45 to 75 grams, making it feel more premium. The K60 also has surprisingly good stabilizers. They come pre-lubed and the force curve of the Viola helps to cushion the bottom out for a really nice sound. And of course I wouldn't leave you guys hanging without a sound test, so here are the Razer Mecha Membrane keys and the Cherry Viola switches.
Looking at the keycaps, this is another area where we see Corsair pull ahead. The Ornata's mecha membrane keys are part of the sliders, making them unable to be swapped out. They have that half height design like I mentioned, making the board look a little bit more low profile, and they're made out of ABS plastic and have a clean and simple font. The K60 Special Edition has PBT double shot keycaps, which is a huge value add. And with the K60 standard layout, you could swap these out with aftermarket caps later if you wanted to, thanks to the Viola Switch having the classic cherry style stem. Like the Ornata, the K60 has a clean, simple font, and all the secondary characters are illuminated. And when we look at the lighting, both keyboards actually look pretty good here, and a lot of this is thanks to their alternative switch options. The mecha membrane of the Ornata allows for a nice ambient look to the lighting, as that membrane really holds the light, creating a full-looking underglow beneath the keys, while the K60's brushed aluminum top plate doesn't do much to reflect the light, but the Cherry Viola switches do a better job catching the light and holding it than their MX Big Brothers do thanks to the clear plunger over a frosted housing. And I think both keyboards look good in their own way. Both keyboards use their company's respective lighting softwares, which I'm sure by now you are well aware of, while the K60 also comes with 10 pre-programmed lighting effects if you don't want to use IQ. When you compare everything about these two keyboards, I think it's pretty apparent which one stands out. The K60 RGB Pro Special Edition just brings a more quality board to the table, with its standout features being the brushed aluminum top plate, true mechanical viola switches, and PBT keycaps. And while I'll admit both of these switch types really aren't my favorite, I think the Viola provides a more quality feeling experience. I think the main arguments for the Ornata at this point are the half-height key design, clicky keys, and in-game integration with its lighting effects. If the K60 gets a tactile or clicky variation of the Viola switch though, there's going to be even less reason to consider the Ornata. Overall, if it were me and I had 100 bucks to spend on a full-size gaming keyboard, out of these two options, the K60 would definitely be my pick. Well, that's it for the comparison, guys. Let me know in those comments down below which one of these keyboards you think comes out on top, and feel free to offer suggestions to other keyboard videos you wanna see from me in the future. Of course, you made it this far into the video. I'd love to see you subscribe and give this video a like. And of course, you can follow me on Twitter at BrainBeanGaming. But as always, guys, stay safe out there, take care of each other, and I'll see you in the next one.